Good morning to CMC Espresso. It's uh, pretty quiet in the market in the past days. Even if the US dollar on Friday rose to its highest level since mid-March, the currency market volatility has reached its lowest level since December 2014. Financial markets have remained calm ahead of many potential market moving news in the coming weeks. But there were no real news coming out of the last two big events. That was uh, one of them was the G7 summit in Japan. Financial leaders from the big industrial countries see the upcoming Brexit vote as a big financial risk, potentially. So do fund managers surveyed by Reuters last week. Japan, uh, Japan's government at the G7 summit complained about the weak economic state of the world um, economy and all countries were in favor of more growth in the world economy and less terrorism. So nothing really surprising there. On Friday, Fed President Janet Yellen gave an or a surprisingly hawkish speech at the Harvard University and has um, noted that interest rates could be hiked in the coming months which she considers as an appropriate move and that has pushed the value of the dollar um, higher and the value of gold lower. But there was no real volatility for stocks in the last, uh, last two days of the last trading week, so, nor is there any volatility um, this morning. And the Asian stock markets are in, uh, firmly in the green. So the S&P 500 index um, even closed at the day's high on Friday and should continue to go higher if futures hold their pre-market gains. So maybe this potentially upcoming second rate hike has also lost some of its horror for the markets. And it might be that um, the many crash profits out there are epically wrong this time. Maybe this is because the US economy is strong enough to face a second rate hike. And maybe the emerging markets this time are more prepared to take a stronger dollar. And maybe oil prices are stable enough this time because Iran has almost returned to its pre-sanctioned production levels. And after Iran, there won't be any supply uh, shocks for the market coming. And maybe banks are looking forward to a rate hike by the Fed. The key gauge for bank profitability is the net interest margin. This tracks the difference between how much a bank pays for money versus how much it gets paid for lending it. This metric peaked in the mid 90s and has trended down ever since. With bank profitability near all time lows, the only way to jumpstart a recovery in the banking system, at least on a nominal basis, is by raising uh, rates, according to some experts. San Francisco Federal Reserve Bank President John Williams recently said that he believes short-term rates will be uh, between 3 and 3, one quarter percent within two years. That would be concurrent with at least 10 more rate hikes of 25 basis points each. That, would, that could in the end mean a significantly stronger dollar and another drop in the price of gold.